everyone and welcome to my Thailand haul. I'm super duper sorry it has taken me this long to get this filmed and out to you guys but I really hope you enjoy watching it and it has been worth the wait. I will however say there's not loads of items in this haul. I just kind of bought the things that I couldn't really get in England or things that I just could not resist. But if you're going away to Thailand, hopefully this gives you a great idea of the kind of things that you can buy and the kind of prices to expect. I didn't really buy that many clothing items from high street and designer stores just because they are actually cheaper in England. I don't know why because quite a few of the brands are actually made in Thailand, but yeah, that's just the way it is. I will just stop rambling now because I'm going on and on. The first item I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful necklace that I got from Chiang Mai Market. It was only 200 baht which is about £4 and I just adore it. You've most probably seen if you follow me on Instagram and my blog, I've worn it in so many outfit pictures but just because it is such a statement piece and it really adds something to every outfit. It is not the best quality but for £4 I'm not going to complain about that. What kind of woman would I be if I just bought one necklace? I had to buy another one. I bought a more simple version. It was 150 baht, which is three pounds. And this one is a less brushed metal. It's a bit more clean. And again, same quality really, no difference. It's just something if I don't feel like being really out there, it's just another little thing that I can add to my outfits to make them just look a bit more chic and a bit more like I've worked at them. Because I purchased those silver necklaces I thought I desperately need some silver rings and fortunately for me my mum's best friend in Thailand has her own silverware company called Pond Silvertown which is located in Bangkok and Chiang Mai and I think Phuket but I'm not 100% sure but they do amazing silverware from jewellery to homeware and I just think the rings I purchased are divine, which are in the clip now. I bought an array midi rings, to chunky statement rings, to more subtle, just simple bands, and I love them all. And I literally have converted from gold to silver just in that moment of buying those rings. So I'm super happy with those. I'm not 100% sure why I purchased this item, measurably just because they were absolutely everywhere. It's just kind of a printed kaftan with a drawstring waist and it was only 100 baht which is £2. Again not the best quality but it is handmade and it's just a really good easy throw on. Now these next two items I didn't actually buy in Thailand, I bought them online and I got my boyfriend to bring them to me whilst I was away just because it was January sales and I couldn't resist because I'm naughty and I really wanted these things but technically I was in Thailand so I am including them in my Thailand haul so I spoilt myself with this absolutely delicious mink pink number it's a velvet maxi dress it's tight form fitting I did size down on this and I would recommend sizing down sometimes on mink pink items this was £60 down to £36 on the ASOS website and I couldn't resist. It's a turtleneck and you guys should know by now that I absolutely adore turtlenecks. It's just an absolutely amazing dress, really versatile. You can see how I styled this on my blog and I will leave a link for you guys down below. But absolutely dreamy and soft and smooth and lovely. <laughs> I also purchased this dress from Topshop again in the sale. It was down from £60 I think to £30. I did have to size up on this item purely because they didn't have my size left in stock. I did have to get this taken in but by a lovely lady in the village who did an absolutely amazing job for an absolutely ridiculously cheap price. And it's just a velvet mini dress with a low back which is why I bought it because I can't resist a low back. And it's got this really nice crisscross strapping detail which I can't really show you very well holding it up but it's just divine. Now on to the beauty products. As you can see I've had my hair ombre I or ombre ombre I got it first done at a place in Thailand. I think it was called Absolute Hair Studio in Chiang Mai. They had rave reviews on TripAdvisor so I just had to go there 
they did do a good job but I did get it redone when I got back to England just because I wanted it more gradual and kind of more blended if you can see like it's not such a solid line whereas when they did it in Thailand although it wasn't orange they bleached my hair so well and it felt so healthy afterwards and I was really surprised it was just a bit too much of a blunt finish for me and I just had to get it redone over here the staff at Absolute were positively delightful <laughs> I have to think of another word for absolutely then and I would recommend them and I will put their link in down bar below so since I got my hair dyed they recommended me a leave-in conditioner by L'Oreal it's the Vitimo Colour Colour Guard System and I think they most probably sell this in England I'm not 100% sure but it is L'Oreal so you can get their products anywhere and it just works really well I just apply it into my freshly washed hair when it's damp and it literally does leave my hair feeling really soft. I only put it in the ends just because my hair is quite moisturised naturally so I didn't feel I needed to apply it to the areas that weren't coloured but it really does help I think and my hair hasn't felt horrible and dry even though I've had it bleached twice over now so I would definitely recommend this. I found this amazing sunflower treatment spray by Caring Hair Expert with keratin protein. It's absolutely amazing it's a heat protection spray and it was only three pounds they don't sell it in England when this runs out I'm definitely definitely investing in a product with sunflower extract and keratin protein in because this works an absolute treat and I've never really been one to put so much product in my hair but since it's been dyed I feel it's important to keep my hair really nourished and protect it from heat I finally treated myself to the NARS sheer glow foundation in Valeris, Valaris, medium 1.5. This wasn't any cheaper in Thailand, it was exactly the same price, but I just walked past the NARS stand and I couldn't resist buying it. I've had so many reviews about it. The only thing for me about this product, it does work a treat. The coverage is amazing. It's most probably a bit heavier than I thought it would be. When I did try this, my mum was like, oh, your skin looks really glowing. So it obviously does the trick and does what it says on the tin. I'm gonna sound like the worst friend ever, but I only purchased one gift for one friend, but Leanne did come out with me, so I figured she could buy whatever she wanted to while she was out there, if she wanted anything. Bertie was also coming to visit me, so I didn't feel I needed to get him anything from Thailand. So I bought my friend Sarah, because it was her birthday, this amazing rucksack. They sell them everywhere. It's not the cheap cheapest item but it's still quite a good price compared to English prices. I just really enjoy the print and the quality of it is really good. It's got a zip opening and a flap front for that extra bit of security and I just hope that my friend Sarah will really like this. Thank you guys so much for watching as per usual. Your subscriptions, views mean the world to me. Please comment, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you found this haul at all helpful and I shall hopefully see you all again soon. Bye! And I'm just talking and talking and not making any sense.